I'm Beth Kolko. Delighted to be here, and we are having a hackathon to help improve the training for health workers who are combating Ebola. So we brought together a group of people this weekend to create digital simulations, basically serious games, to augment classroom training that health workers are getting. And we started this event when the IMCI Alliance reached out to us, and they just developed a new training curriculum for the WHO. Uh, they're going to be using it in the training centers in Liberia, and it's a lot of PowerPoint, uh, and then some shadowing. They said, hey, can, can you design some interactive simulations that will help us make this curriculum more engaging? And so I got that email, and I happened to be at MIT at the time at another hackathon, and I said to them, well, this sounds really important. Is there any funding? Because I'm going to have to hire people. And they said, no, there's no funding. And so I looked around at this other hackathon, and I thought, why don't we try this? So we reached out to the community. I reached out to some old game devs that I knew. They reached out to their communities, and we were able to gather this amazing collection of people. So we have game developers, we have artists, we have doctors who've been in the field uh, with Ebola. We have doctors who've worked overseas on other kinds of outbreaks. We have uh, people who do online training. We have people who do medical simulation. It's this, we have UX professionals, this amazing collection of volunteers who've come together to help us build these prototype simulations that can really make it possible for even more healthcare workers to get trained on how to deal with Ebola safely. So we're incredibly excited. We can't wait to see what happens by Sunday. Hi, my name is Mark Sealander, and I'm involved in the Nixie Ebola Hackathon here happening in Seattle. Um, so about two weeks ago, I was at work and there was a lot of news about Ebola happening and I got a call from uh, Beth uh, Kolko, who's running this event, and she said, Mark, I need some help getting a hackathon together for this weekend. That was two weeks ago and she wanted to do a hackathon for the, that weekend. And I said, for what? She said, uh, to work on training simulations to help with uh, people that are heading down to treat Ebola. And I said, sure, why not? My role over the last couple of weeks, besides helping to organize and recruit people, has been to build a basic level we're going to be using in a, a game engine called Unity. Uh, and so I've created one of these uh, tr field hospitals in Unity. We're going to be taking those assets and all these teams that are getting together for this event are going to build separate experiences. The overall goal of this event is to build um, three or four, or hopefully more, but three or four prototype experiences that can be used to show how um, serious game simulations can help to augment uh, more traditional training. You know, uh, 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 someone up in front of a group of people walking through a PowerPoint. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and go through some really hard stuff, like maybe how you take on and off suits, to maybe some more things that are, that are a little different, like what is the environment like? How do glasses fog up? What's the sound like? And then into some things that are more practical about how do you mix the chlorine solution or deal with IV fluids. So we think that the, all these tools can be, can be built in uh, Unity and, and with the skills we have on hand. So, man, it's been, like I said, two weeks and we have uh, three days of just going for it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens and excited to work with everyone here. Thank you.